There's been a crash on the home stretch. A car upside down. And that's a Richard blue Petty. car. It is Richard Petty. It was just, just one of those deals that nobody could control the thing. This was 1970. And we had the Superbird down there. And uh, we were just flat flying. I mean, and I went out and <clears throat> made a mistake and crashed the car. <laughs> and uh, so we had to go home and went home and got one of our short track cars and uh, came back and was running in the race. The car was a lot slower, but we was running along pretty good. And probably eight or 10 laps before that, going into the car number one, I think I'd hit the wall, kind of messed up the front end. I kept running and I got, got the car back to speed. And then coming off of four, uh, or where I made another mistake or broke something, anyhow, hit the wall, turned over four or five times down the front stretch. Dislocated my shoulder and, uh, you know, I had to miss a couple races. The look at that pit wall gives you some idea of the impact with which Richard Betty hit it. He actually cracked the wall, almost went all the way through it, and had he gone through that or, or slipped up over it, it could have been a, a real tragedy in the pit area. I had one my 55th race, I think, at Darlington, and they made, made a little plaque, and they put it on the inside pit wall. Well, when I crashed, I ran through that and knocked that thing out. <laughs> so I don't know whatever happened to that. But uh, I tore up two cars, and I think Pete Hamilton had crashed during the race, and he was driving for us at that time. So we go back home, and uh, you know we had to basically start all over again because we tore up three race cars. 